Hey guys, um, so I promised a Magic Treehouse video, and that's what I'm gonna do. So, if you remember, we've been reading this Magic Treehouse book, The Sunset of the Sabretooth. Now, I thought we were farther along. It turns out we were just three chapters in. So, since we're not that far along, and I'm sure you probably forgot, I probably forgot stuff that's happened, I'm gonna start from the beginning and also do the prologue so that your parents um, can kind of get a history of where we're at. This is our seventh, seventh, can y'all believe it? Our seventh um, Magic Tree House book. We started these at the beginning of the year and they're really a class favorite. We read them almost every single day. So I'm going to read now. Remember, this is a chapter book, right? So that means that I'm not gonna be showing you pictures, but the cool thing about chapter books that you guys already know is you can make the pictures in your mind. It's like a movie in your own head. So we talk about in class, sometimes it helps to like close your eyes while you're listening so that you can see what's going on in your head or just listen really attentively and figure out um, so you can make those images in your head. So it's really cool and it really helps your brain to grow when you're making those creative thoughts and um, pictures in your head. So. I'm going to read the prologue and chapter one for this video. All right. Prologue. One summer day in Frog Creek, Pennsylvania, a mysterious tree house appeared in the woods. Eight-year-old Jack and his seven-year-old sister Annie climbed into the tree house. They found it was filled with books. Jack and Annie soon discovered that the tree house was magic. It could take them to the places in the books. All they had to do was point to a picture and wish to go there. Jack and Annie visited dinosaurs, knights, an Egyptian queen, pirates, ninjas, and the Amazon rainforest. Along the way, they discovered that the treehouse belonged to Morgan Le Fay. Morgan was a magical librarian. She traveled through time and space, gathering books for King Arthur's library. On their fifth adventure in the Night of the Ninjas, Jack and Annie found a little mouse in the treehouse. Annie named her new little friend Peanut. Jack and Annie also found a note from Morgan. The note told them that she was under a spell. To free her, Jack and Annie must find four special things. They found the first thing in old Japan and the second in the Amazon rainforest. Now Jack and Annie and Peanut are about to set out in search of the third thing in Sunset of the Sabretooth. So hopefully that gives you guys a overview of what we've read through so far. Chapter one, the M things. Let's go to the tree house, said Annie. She and Jack were passing the Frog Creek woods on their way home from their swimming class at the Y. <coughs> no, I don't wanna go home and change out of my bathing suit, said Jack. Oh, that'll take too long, said Annie. Don't you wanna save Morgan as soon as possible? Of course, said Jack. Then come on before the sun sets, said Annie. She dotted into the woods. Jack sighed. He gave up on the idea of changing out of his bathing suit. He pushed his glasses into place. He followed Annie into the Frog Creek woods. The warm air smelled fresh and green. He moved through patches of sunlight and shadow. Soon he came to a small clearing. He looked up. There it was, the magic tree house and the tallest tree in the woods. Hurry, called Annie. She was climbing the rope ladder up to the treehouse. Jack grabbed the ladder. He started up after her. Finally, they reached the treehouse. Squeak, a mouse sat on the windowsill. Hi, Peanut, cried Annie. Jack patted, patted the tiny head. Sorry we didn't come sooner, Annie said, but we had to go on our swimming lessons. Squeak, what happened while we were gone? Asked Annie, looking around the treehouse. Jack stared at the large M carved into the wooden floor. On the M were a moonstone and a mango, the two special things they'd found on their last journeys. Hey, guess what, said Jack. Moonstone and mango? Start with the letter M, just like Morgan. You're right, said Annie. I bet all four things start with the letter M, said Jack. Right, said Annie. I wonder where we'll find the next one. She and Jack stared at the stacks of books in the treehouse. 
Books on the Amazon rainforest, ninjas, pirates, mummies, knights, and dinosaurs, all of them were closed. Only one book lay open in the corner. We're just about to find out, said Jack. They walked over to the one open book. They looked at the page and the book was open too, and it showed a picture of rocks and snow. Wow, said Annie, running her finger over the picture. I love snow. I wish we could go there right now. Wait, said Jack, we're not prepared. Then he had another thought. And we're wearing our bathing suits. Stop. Oops, said Annie. Too late. The wind started to blow. The leaves started to shake. The tree house started to spin. It spun faster and faster. Then everything was silent. It was as silent as the falling snow. All right, that's chapter one. I want you to think about where you think these characters are. You might already know, because we did three chapters, but where do you think they are? What do you think they're gonna find out there? It's gotta start with the letter M, right? So think about it. Maybe draw a picture of what you saw in the book. Talk to your family about it. All right. Stay tuned for our next chapter coming at you soon.